Good morning guys happy today is Thursday so today is day two of this vlog yesterday I uploaded two and edit two vlogs so I don't even know why I'm up so early it's like 7 30 in the morning yeah. I'm tired but I have four sweaters to make two tumblers to make that's my main things right now that have to be given the customer this afternoon i think so uh yeah so that's my main focus and there's two t-shirts i have to make i forgot about the two two x's i have to make completely forgot that I had them in with um, the order I received yesterday. So the beginning part of this vlog where I showed you the unboxing, I forgot that I ordered the t-shirts along with the hoodies. Oh. But I have to get them done too. I just want to get them done and out of the way. They're, they're not due for the customer until a little bit because there's still some more designs I have to do, but that means I'll have three or four shirts done for that customer already, so which is a bonus. Because technically, they're not due until October. That's my order. That's not due until then. But she's going to get it before that. <laughs> I just need to actually order a few more t-shirts. If I would have known I ordered two, I should have ordered the other ones. I wasn't thinking. Because I think I had in my mind that the black t-shirts that I did get yesterday... I think I wanted to bleach one for myself, <coughs> but now that I have two, I'm going to keep it for the customer's order instead of reordering them again. But I have to go to Michael's today, guys. Yeah. I'm sorry for yawning so much. Like, I don't even know why I'm up so early. Like, I think I only went to bed at like two o'clock this morning. I went and I laid down around 11, but played on my phone for hours. So watching friggin' people's TikToks, there's a couple from Newfoundland that um, I watched them scratch tickets. How is that amusing? I don't know. Because it's not me winning. It's not me scratching. But it's kind of like therapeutic. <laughs> it's kind of nice to watch. But they didn't do very well last night um, when I was watching them anyway. They were on scratching for about two to three hours at that time and they won like 22 bucks so not a whole lot but um and they were celebrating getting 500,000 followers on tiktok so that's freaking awesome um what do i want to do right now okay i will touch back in with you guys in a little bit because i need to finish drinking my coffee wake the frig up and start cutting out some vinyl so I can finish making everything else I have to make. And actually print off the two designs for the tumblers. So here's the sterile guy. Guys, guy, guy. I'm printing out a design. I have literally two pieces of paper left. So this one here that's in the machine. And this one here. I do have more that are legal size. But now, read that. I have a paper jam. So this piece of paper is ruined, and there's nothing jammed. Like, there's nothing jammed. This is stressing me out. So since I didn't see the paper jam, I hauled out this piece of paper, and there's my jam. So now it's preparing. And now I don't know what it's going to print. It better not continue to print this, because then it's going to ruin the other piece of paper. I am so happy that I have legal size paper because that's what I'm going to have to use and I pray that this other piece don't get jammed 
So from this type of paper, when I have it in the printer for a while, it curves. So it tends to get stuck, but I have more paper coming tomorrow. Oh, never mind. This is another piece of sublimation paper too. So I am gonna be okay. I have a whole box. So I literally have like this box, but it's all legal size paper. I don't like to use it because it's more expensive. I basically only use it for like license plates, things that I need that long. But we shall see. If this rooms, then it's two sheets of legal size paper. I don't care. Need to get this done so the customer can come pick it up. But it looks so neat. I'm so happy with this. Yeah. She gave me an idea. I pulled it together and make it my own. That's what I like. Don't copy, don't buy, make it your own. So there was some pictures off of that tumbler that she wanted me to use. So I kind of Google searched. <coughs> and her and her friends are the exact same. And the funny thing is both of their names are Debbie. So the only difference is they had their lot number for their trailer park for their, where they camp. So they had that on the mug. So that's really the only difference. And one of them, her background is pink and the other one is just white. So they're going to look really nice. But other than that, they're the exact same. Cool. And it's printing out that one. Now I need to reprint the pink one. <clears throat> my luck, my luck. It seems, I don't, I don't know if anybody is weird like me, but I just opened the window and all I smell is like the morning dew, like fresh air. Ugh, and there's nothing better. What the hell now? My program just says, uh, encountered an external internal error and we'll close now freaking kidding me why is my luck happening today this week just hasn't been fun let me quit this and try to reopen it it's really it's not letting me close so if it experienced an external internal error then let me close it it says it was gonna close oh my god this is so stinking cute. I'll show you in a second. Man, I gotta edit this vlog tonight for you guys tomorrow. That's three freaking days in a row I got a vlog up there. Like, I'm so happy with myself. I'm so happy. Come on! Oh, it's just not my day. Finally. So this, these are what my days consist of. Me yelling and cursing, but I'll save that not for the vlog. I'll save that for off of the vlog, but, oh uh, man. I want, I just want things to work. It is working. It's just a little bit frustrating sometimes. So here is the design. And this exact same thing is gonna be on a pink background with a different number here, a different number there. What's this, Inkscape quit unexpectedly. Yes, I don't care. Reopen it, yeah, I don't care. What the, I don't care. Just freaking work. Man, and it just had me nervous when the printer said paper jam. My HP paper, HP printer that I had before that said paper jam, it never ever cleared. So I literally threw it in the freaking garbage. And it was only a couple months old. So I'm like, Lord help me, I don't want a paper jam. Please clear 
so I can continue to use it. <laughs> uh, okay, why isn't it? Here I am looking at the screen and waiting for it to do something like, hello, I need to click the button. <laughs> Duh. <clears throat> da Corin da Damas. Move sesame inches. <sighs> so hopefully everyone's day is going well. Hopefully your day is going better than mine. That's actually not too bad. I just got to do a few things. Mm -hmm. I think I'm good now. Oh, Lord, have mercy. All right, let me try printing this design again that just jammed. And pray to God it comes out right. I just put a new piece of paper in there. So we should be all good. Change it to high quality and print. Oh, the coffee's not kicking in yet. Oh, then I need to cut out all kinds of vinyl and weed it. I wish this would have been a colored background for the tumbler. Then it's hard to judge anything. Because I still like it the same size so it can wrap around the tumbler. Got to make sure it's wrap, it's cut off everywhere where there was a black border. Because for some reason, one part printed with a black border, and I don't need that going on the tumbler. So I print it with a line like that. But it was just on the top, so I think I'm good. Sometimes the lines are so fine that you can barely see it, but then when you press it on the tumbler, it's predominant, for sure. Because anything you print with sublimation ink is always a lot lighter than what it's gonna be when you put it on the tumbler. So when the heat connects with the ink and creates that gas to infuse into the tumbler, <clears throat> um, it becomes brighter then. But this print is actually really nice, like as is, but it will come a little bit brighter. Welcome. <clears throat> I can't talk. <coughs> I have so many canvases, I can't wait till I start painting again. So, which I'm going to start painting whenever I get my kitchen area cleaned up so I can um, use the table again. So, going to get these all prepared. So, these don't take very long to make. 
it's just you gotta wrap it on tape it on then shrink wrap it and then i have to wait for the oven to heat up these sell so well and i'm almost out as you can see up there i literally have 12 left and i had 52 not that long ago <laughs> Um, but the store that I, that I buy it from when I don't have any, just got a bunch in stock. Thank God. So I cut my paper a little bit too small, but that's okay because there's no background. So there's not going to be no seam. Just hopefully it's really easy to come off the tumbler. Because normally I don't put tape directly on the tumbler. But it's only on a small part of it. Jeez, that's, oh yeah. I'm here trying to shove it. Forgetting, it's attached to the tumbler. It's not gonna shift. I'm like, oh, I got that on there tight. Yeah, no, you didn't. Just need to move it a little bit. I just wanna make sure it's not gonna cut off like any design here it goes right to the top but I'm still good. So. I'm good, I'm good. So it's not gonna cut off. I don't know what kind of day it's gonna be out there today, but hopefully it's a nice one. I'm ready for some nice days, just not the heat. Just nice weather that I can still sit here and be comfortable in the hoodie. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this a little bit. Because you really don't need to sit here through all this with me. Because you've seen it before. It's not my first time doing this on a video or a live stream. Okay, now that I have them all done like that, I need to put shrink wrap on them. If it wants to come apart, to be honest. These here are normally Corinne proof. I think I need to make a piece of merch that says Corinne Proof. I tend to use that a lot. It's the lack of use with my hand. Well, not lack of use. The issues with my hand sometimes <laughs> makes things Corinne Proof. But working from home now. It's so much easier on my hands than it was at the job that I was trying to do. Because that sucked. So now I'm going to take my heat gun. And one heat glove.
these are done and ready to go. I just need to turn on this and let it heat up. So I will be back to you once this is heated. So it's almost heated up. I'm just waiting for these to turn a brighter red. Actually, it looks more redder on camera than what it does <laughs> in person, but I need to use my phone as a timer. So these go in for, in this oven here, if I put it in any longer than four minutes and 30 seconds, they start to burn. So I normally take it out around then. I know some people leave them in five minutes or six minutes, but I don't. Um, maybe because this is a newer oven could be the reason. So I'll show you once they're done. Hello lovelies, I'm back. So I just finished making the tumblers. I'll show you once they cool down a little bit. Um, but now I'm weeding out stuff for the two hoodies that I have to make. So I decided to come on and have a little chit chat while I do this. Don't ask me what I'm going to talk about because I'm sure you've heard me talk an awful lot in this vlog already since it is two days long. Um, if I don't know how much footage I got for yesterday, but if it is a lot, I may do this into two. We'll see. Because I've just been putting the camera in front of my face and going with it. Just winging it. Oh, my dog is outside barking. I just had an Amazon delivery at 8.30 in the morning. And the person literally threw the package at my front door. And it was two movies for Mark. Not happy. And the person literally had their music thumping at 8.30 in the morning and flew up my street like it was nobody's business. I need to get my dog. Sorry about that stop there for a second, guys, but my dog was trying to wake up the neighborhood. But yeah, that delivery driver was a little bit nuts. And pray to God when Mark comes home and opens his package that they're fine. So I don't know why people feel the need to throw packages. Like literally sit it on something. But he never even come and opened our gate. He just flung it. Sorry, stupid idiots. You need to go lay down. Ever since yesterday, I took the dog for a walk yesterday. Ever since then, she hasn't stopped. So all day yesterday, she paced the floor behind me. Non-stop, all day long. And then last night, she was okay when Mark come home because she was sitting up on his lap. But now this morning, she's going again. Uh, I thought yesterday that, you know, the walk from yesterday would have tired her out a little bit, but no. It sent her into a, an energizing something. You can hear her. You need to go lay down. I need to find something heavy to sit on my table. Because everything I do, I have two tables attached together. So everything I do, or I shake or I move, it shakes my oven. So the tumblers on top of it that are cooling off are just shaking. Go lay down, Megs. I see you looking at me. You've had your treats, you've got your food, you've got your water, you've been outside. What more do you want? If I went out to the couch and laid on the couch, she would lay down, snuggled up to one part of my body, and she would be fine. But I can't work. And I complain about this all the time because it literally drives me bonkers because I can't do anything without her crying. And I think she knows that when she cries, even though I know she's fine, it upset, it bothers me. It don't upset me, but who really wants to hear their dog crying and it touches your heart and it just, you know, like you don't really know what's wrong because clearly there's, no, there's nothing wrong. 
because she's utterly fine. Because she got more energy than you could shake a stick at. But. There she is. Don't mind my mess. I got a few boxes over the last few days. See? I got boxes everywhere. You gotta make your cameo appearance. Are you ever going to go lay down today? No? No? Are you going to drive mommy nuts all day? Because you're good at doing that. You know that, right? Right? You want to give a kiss to the people? I just had my vitamin, and I guess now I'm, I'm just rearing to go. Are you rearing to go? Hey, are you rearing to go? She's still attached to my leg. <sighs> oh, my. Anybody want to babys babysit the dog every day? So that way I can do some work. So this here that I'm making, uh, these hoodies are for um, a guy, he's originally from the US, but I don't know if he married someone from here. I, like, I don't know his life story per se, but he's really, really nice. And, um, Hold on, if I show you guys these mountains to anybody that's watching from the U.S., you'll probably know. I, I want to say Virginia, but I don't think. But I was told that these mountains here are like a resemblance of his, where he's from. So these are the mountains for his business. I'm not sure where that's from. But if anybody knows it's from the US, comment it down below. Because I'm not sure. But that is going a crest in the back of the shirt, or the back of the hoodie, and a crest in the front. And these are the 100 t shirts that I have to make soon whenever I get all the sizes so I can place the order. So I was hoping it would come this week. I was told it would have come this week, but I'm just waiting. So they've been getting me to make some hoodies here and there. So I've made two already and I gotta make four more. So that's nice. And then if everything goes well, I'll be making roughly about a hundred t-shirts. So I think there's so many t-shirts each person. So we'll see what the final total is when I get them. Uh, I may have to take a break and go into the living room because this is absolutely crazy. You're absolutely crazy, dog. You got everything you could possibly want out there. So, I will stop gabbing now. I just got a few more to do. And then I will show you what they look like when they're done. I just finished cutting out all the vinyl now for to do the hoodies which are right here sorry if I'm making you dizzy look at that huge bee sorry for my fly catcher thingy there but you did you did you see that holy heck that's a huge bee it's like buzzing outside of my window you want to go out you need to lay down she's driving me guys she's driving me I don't know what that bee is trying to do but I don't know, maybe it's trying to get on my fly thing that's inside. 
So I'm just gonna get ready to make the hoodies. I'll show you them once they're done. I'm so excited right now. Sorry for the noise, but I just got three shirts to make for employees of the Atlantic Superstore for their gardening section. So there are people visiting here, uh, visiting Nova Scotia from Ontario. So I'm cutting it out right now and it's going on green shirts because they're in the floral department. So it's pretty neat. Um, it's nice to know people. Um, so the lady just called me and they actually need it for five o'clock. So I'm gonna be getting this done now and I'll show you when I'm done. And here's the sweaters I just made. So here is the front. Um, also, that's, I'm not gonna bother unfolding it because I have it all folded now. I forgot to take nice pictures, but the back of it is the exact same, but larger. And then the person's name is on the sleeve of them. So I got all them done. So now just these three. So freaking excited and I'm happy. My business is getting a heck of a lot busier. And I think it's almost time for a new cutting machine because this one kind of makes funny noises every now and again. It is so beautiful outside. Just sitting back, relaxing, enjoying the evening. So nice. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this part two of what should have been one vlog, but I broke it up in two. So hopefully you enjoyed. Like, commented, and subscribed it would be greatly appreciated. Um, also check out my membership shout out in the description below and I will catch you in my next one. I'm really enjoying this daily vlogging this week. So hopefully tomorrow I can vlog too. I have a lot of running around to do, but I will try to do as much as I can. Have a great day. Catch you in the next one.